YouTube and welcome to 39th Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to fix some things from the past what we've created and then in the next tutorial big surprise it was the most voted thing we are going to actually start to design our cars so not actually build the models of the cars I'm not very good at that and um, download the models make the next tutorial will make it so you can get in the cars and we'll quickly stick our character script on so we can move it about and then in the tutorial after that we'll start making a proper car script and we'll start making proper cars so yeah so that'll be some fun and um, it was the most voted thing anyway so um, in first what we're going to do is last time we made it so when we play our game um, you press I your money is displayed in your inventory which is good it worked 100% perfect no bugs However, there is the bug when we, if we ever resize the GUI, um, the money and the actual money, the two labels will split up and it'll look really bad. So the user, Electrolyte2000, commented below and said, why don't you do it this way instead, because it's much better. So I tested it, it works, it is a lot much better, and I didn't actually know about it. So thank you to Electrolyte for teaching us. So we're going to fix that. So first we're going to open up our inventory GUI here and we're going to find where it is so it's here the two labels the one that says the actual string of money and then the one that shows how much we have so what we're going to do is actually cut the how much we have bit so the player inventory players money to string cut that and get rid of that line completely cutting is basically copy and take away then paste somewhere else so to the keyboard shortcut for that is Control X if nobody knew and what we're going to do is after the final speech mark before the final bracket we're going to put plus and then paste that in like so and that will basically perform this and this action so you just plus I actually thought that was only available in printing so when you put print A plus B if you like like that that's all i thought it was able for so big thank you for electrolyte for teaching me that and here it is now and um, his description will be in the below please go and say thank you um, but what we can do is we also can get rid of these two variables because we don't need them no more so the money position and money size because we've got the names right so go back in get rid of the console and test it and it'll work the exact same you won't notice any difference but if we when it loads do, 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 do. There we go. Load, you will notice no difference. If we open up our character and go to the script, we can actually, if we move it about the player position, it will stay together as one. So that's really, really handy for the future if we ever resize it or something. So that's all good. Um, now what we're going to do is, what we did a while ago, is when we created the entry, we stuck the item bounce on, so the doors and everything bounces up and down. But that didn't work too well when we moved it. Um, yeah, so the reason it does that is because we've aligned it, so that's flat on the floor, we want it to go up 256, which is above it, and then we want it to go so much down till it gets it, but then when we've lifted it up past that, it looks weird and wrong. So to fix this, it's super, super simple, we'll open up item bounce, like so. So, I've already explained all that script to you, if you haven't seen it, go visit the other tutorial, it's something called Start Bouncing or Bouncing Hadoukens or something. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is convert, get rid of the go up variable here and just get rid of all instances of it because we don't want it like so. So that's all gone. Save that because this is going to be cool. And the go down, we can see we've got four of them highlighted. So we're going to just rename this to movement. In fact, move. We'll just call it move. And we'll copy this and replace it with every single go down like so. So that's really good. So get in there. Go up, we've got one more, that's it. Um, now that we've done that, we don't need a speed anymore. So we're going to rename this, well we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to call this up height to up distance. In fact, we'll just keep it as up height, you don't need to change it. But yeah, so this is, so every time what we're going to do is make it, so every time moves true, it starts ticking down on the down how high or up height so ticks one ticks one ticks one every frame so say we say 200 for both of them so it moves up for 200 ticks then moves back down for 200 ticks so it really really good so it looks like it's bouncing and um, so that would be really cool but now we've done that the track we have transform position y 
times time dot delta time, which is correct. But then we're going to get rid of speed because we don't want speed there anymore. So get rid of that. That's gone. And instead of 0 0.1, we're just going to call it 1. So it moves in chunks now. So chunk, 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 instead of 0 0.1 chunks. Because then it'll move really, really slow and that's not what we want. So we've done that. What we're going to do is tab all this out like so. And we're going to say if the up high is more than, is less than what, 0, then, I mean, nah, if it's more than 0, then start ticking it down, moving it down, down. But if it gets less than 0, which we'll put here, then turn it off, make it equal 200, and then start moving it in the opposite direction, which is this one. So we could convert that back to 1, get rid of speed, because we don't want that. So, to do this, we type, we've done this many, many times, if down distance, so it's going to move down first, is more than zero, which it is, because it's 200, then what it'll do is tick this down. But at the moment, we've got no way to tick down height down. So what we're going to do is every frame minus equals one on that. So it'll start ticking that down, chop, chop, chop. And then while it's chopping it, it's moving it down as well, so it moves down. Um, then what we're going to do is get rid of this in here and put down height if down height is less than 1. So if it's more than 0, tick it down. But if it's less than 1, so if it's 0 basically, then we make move equals false. So it goes to this bit here. So we'll rename that to false. And then we'll make down height, is that down height? Yep. Equal 200 again. So it's back to normal reset ready for it to come back on so what we're going to do is basically copy that but for down here so we'll copy this bit paste it in here but we don't want it to move down height this time we want it to move up height so start ticking that down because so it resets you can put it to one variable but this is just to minimize any chances of any errors it, they probably won't be but yeah so we're going to copy that in the if statement put if it's less than uh, more than less than zero yep because we're here so less than one and put this up make it look pretty much the same so it doesn't like annoy any OCD people um, bracket there and we'll create our if statement now so if 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 up height is more than zero which it is then just chop it down the opposite way so it starts chopping it down again so that's it um, Basically, it says if moves equal true, which it does at the default, then it will start if down height is more than zero, which it is it's 200, then start ticking down height by one. And as it ticks it down by one, move the position down one. So it'll start moving it down. And then if down gets beneath one, which it will be eventually, very quickly, it will disable move, make it false, and the down height will be reset to 200. Then in the same one, we've got if move equals false, which we do, and up height is more than zero, repeat the same process, but the opposite direction. That's it. But we've, small glitch I've just noticed, we need to reset up again here. So up height equals 200. That's it. Really simple. So if we were to test it now, all these bouncing things should bounce correctly. You'll see that in a minute, reset itself. And... Fingers crossed. Okay, that's not bouncing. We need to reset this. Right click. That's why. When it loads, right click, reset. You, every item where you put item bounce on, you kind of need to reset. But we haven't actually put it on that many items. So if I can click it from here. There we go. Reset. Um, what else did we put it on? We put it on the Hadouken. Right click and reset. The reason it's not working is because it's below 252 and the script says if it's below or anything so it just won't work at all because we needed to reset it but now we've reset it it should work. As you can see is going very far there we go so it is working you need to experiment with the variables as you can see it is bouncing but we just don't need it at 200 so say 50 50 and 50 
and we need to reset all the 200s back to 50. So the first one will just reset this, all the rest it doesn't matter about. So we try it now and it will bounce, go back up, bounce, go up every 50. Now it's restarted, so click that reset. 50. Ah, oh, come on. Right. Reset properly. There we go. Right, test two. I think our game's starting to lag more because it's getting bigger. So you see, it is bouncing. What we could actually do, if we wanted to make it look better, is if we click that, the Hadouken, and the Landscapes, Cabin, Cabin Enter, and just move it up, well, we'll not click that one in there. Just move these two up ever so slightly, like so. Because then that way they won't hit the floor. Because if you noticed before they was hitting the floor. Now we've moved it up so so slightly. It's not put it out of proportion with the position. It will go down to 50 and go back up. That's it. If you wanted to speed it up. Um, what you could do is go back to your script. And where we put the speed here before. Is just type in your speed. So say 2 or something. Or put the variable speed back in. But then that's it for this tutorial. So that's how you speed it up. That's really good. Thank you again to Electrolyte2000 for posting that very helpful thing. I didn't know that. That should help for the future. Um, Shang Tsung is freaking out again. But everything works. Money works. All good. So thanks for watching.